Case 9 is a 50-year-old man with weakness in the lower extremities and difficulty walking. Here you have some images from an MR through the lumbar spine. This is a T1, this is a T2, this is a T1 post contrast. Here you see axial images through the region of abnormality. So be thinking about what your diagnosis is, what's causing the abnormality. Your first question is what is the most likely diagnosis? Your second is what is the related process where the spinous processes are contacting and can cause a bursitis? So here you have a bunch of eponymous diseases, Bastrop, Schurman, Schmolz, and Berlodes. So in this case, what you're dealing with is a synovial cyst. Uh, this is an inflammatory extension of the synovium, which comes from a degenerative facet. Usually you'll be able to tell that it's communicating with an adjacent joint. Uh, you can definitely cause spinal canal, neural foraminal, or lateral recess stenosis. Uh, the treatments uh, for these, you can try a minimally invasive rupture. Sometimes they're going to recur. You can also do surgery and do a partial facetectomy or a laminectomy and take those out. Uh, you can also get these with the uh, inflamed bursa of the spinous process. In those cases, they're a bursal cyst. Uh, so here you see uh, you've got something indenting the fecal sac from posteriorly here. Here you see it on the T2. It's kind of got a dark rim and is T2 hyperintense in the center. When you give contrast, you have a little bit of enhancement around it, but it's not primarily enhancing. So you're probably not looking at uh, schwannoma or anything like that. On the axial images, you see the same thing. So posteriorly, you've got a little bit of a T2 hyperintense structure there. It's significantly narrowing the fecal sac there, so you're definitely narrowing it. And it's probably arising from this inflamed facet here. When you give contrast again, you see some inflammatory changes around the facet, particularly posteriorly here, but the abnormality itself is not enhancing. The name of the related condition where the spinous process is contact and can cause a related bursitis is Bastrop disease. Uh, these others are also uh, eponymous diseases of other things. Uh, Schurman disease is congenital Schmorl's nodes and uh, wedging of the anterior vertebral bodies. Uh, Schmorl's uh, is not really a disease, but when you have Schmorl's nodes, you have intervertebral disc herniations. And Berlodi disease is when you have back pain due to a transitional vertebral body.